My friends, I want to talk about the event Embrace Your Rainbow that got cancelled this Sunday. We planned this event to celebrate Family Equality Day and Who You Will Be, a kids book that I illustrated which features a queer family. It's publishing next Tuesday by Random House Kids. Here's exactly what I was planning for this event. Me talking about drawing kids books, being a professional artist, and I was gonna do some live drawing for the kids. We were gonna have giveaways, answer questions about art, and I had hoped to create a safe space filled with creativity and joy. Yes, it was a queer book event. I'm a queer artist, and I illustrate books that represent the queer community because I deeply believe in queer kids seeing themselves and LGBTQ families in kids' books. Because when we feel seen and supported, we can flourish in our own lives. And that is what I fight for. Over the last couple of weeks, we've learned of some online haters who decided to skew the meaning of the event into something that it absolutely was not. But once we learned that they were gathering a large group of protesters and targeting us with violence, well, the only decision was to cancel to ensure everyone's safety. I would always support this. Safety is paramount. But it doesn't feel great to be targeted and made into some sort of queer villain with a sexualizing kid's agenda. However, this isn't my first queer rodeo, friends, and it won't be my last. This only proves to me that I'm going in the right direction. I would really like to address my queer community right now and not the haters because frankly, they do not deserve my beautiful queer energy. My queer friends, I see you and I will not stop doing the work that I do. This will only make me write more books, create more art. This kind of pushback only fuels the passion that I have inside to fight for equality of all queer people to stand strong and tall in my own life, to loudly exist and be an example of a queer person with a positive message who works hard to lift people up. To say, no, this is not okay when bullies threaten us and to find new ways to build light in dark places, to build safety in threatening spaces. I will not react with malice or violence, but there is such a thing as righteous anger and I do have that. The difference is the way I choose to use my anger is to build bridges and open arms, not to threaten and tear down. I deeply believe in our inherent right as queer humans to be seen, to be celebrated, and to be supported in our own communities. Let me be really clear. I do have a queer agenda, and it is this, to create a safe space for kids and people of all ages to have conversations, to ask questions, to share our stories, to find practical ways to be inclusive and to share love, to help people see that living authentically to who they are inside is the healthiest goal. If you're an ally, please make yourself loud, share this video, spread the word that this happened, buy queer books, support queer artists. Please don't just give lip service. This is an example of how hard it is to just exist as a queer person in our society. We hear a lot of loud hate and the loud support is the only way to combat that. We will find a way to have this event safely down the road. In the meantime, come down to the Owl and Cat Bookery this Sunday at the same time. I will be there signing books and I'd love to see your face and meet you. Fear and hate is loud, but love is louder. And queer love is loud and sparkly. I'm here for you, and I will not be silenced in this work that I do. Sending you peace, love, and courage, my friends.